My name is Rob Shackford. I'm the county forest ranger here in Dare County with the North Carolina Forest Service. When we're planning a controlled burn, most of the time we spend several months ahead of time in advance planning out the burn. Most of the time burns are done during the winter months when the temperatures are colder. This keeps the fire from being as intense. We look at weather factors such as the temperature, the wind, and the humidity. We're trying to put our smoke somewhere where it's not going to affect major highways or major populations. We oftentimes work with the local fire departments to enhance our working relationships together. We work with other agencies such as the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, National Park Service, State Parks, Department of Transportation, local emergency management, and several other different cooperators when we're doing planned events like this. The two biggest benefits for prescribed burning are going to be reducing the impact of a wildfire by removing the unwanted dead vegetation and also wildlife at a habitat. You're increasing ground cover and new food sources for wildlife by doing a burn. During the Payne's Bay fire, air quality was definitely impacted here on Roanoke Island. Most of the time during large wildfires like that, the Division of Air Quality sets up monitoring systems to monitor the smoke levels and try to get the word out to people who have sensitivities to breathing, like emphysema. The two units that were selected to burn here in Manio, the town approached us and asked us if we'd be able to burn them. We started looking at it together, you know, what's around the units that we wanted to burn. We had a boardwalk that was going through one of them that we had to mitigate, and we had houses on one of the other units that we burned. So we definitely had to make sure we were planning ahead of time, making sure we didn't let the fire get away from us where it would burn a house down. During the control burn we did south of Highway 64 between Pirates Cove and Manio. We spent a lot of time planning that one out. That one was over a thousand acres in size, so it was a pretty big area to cover. When you're doing a large burn like that, it's kind of hard to, to burn that many acres by hand. So we had a helicopter, and the helicopter comes in and he's got a machine, and it looks like it's dropping little ping pong balls. They're injected with antifreeze, and it causes a chemical reaction, and it starts little fires throughout the unit that you want to burn. We do prescribe burning mainly to protect homes. Because of development, we're forced to, to suppress fires more to reduce the impacts on local towns or counties or cities. And by doing the prescribed burn, you're doing it under your terms, so your smoke exposure is not as long and the fire intensity is not going to be as bad. So hopefully, you're not going to affect as many people.